Hello and welcome to Classy Handmade. My name is Shondell and today is February 24th, 2021. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome. So, how are you doing? And thank you for spending some time with me. Um, Welcome to my new subscribers and welcome to my returning subscribers. I've reached 100 subscribers. So hello to my new subscribers. Thank you for to subscribing to my channel. And I hope you find something that will inspire you and that you will come back and keep watching my podcast. And thank you to Hella of No Catchy Name for shouting me out and so thank you Ella so today this week I don't have much to show you because um, I've been writing up my pattern and trying to get it published so I have a few testers thank you testers and I've been taking their feedback and I have changed a few things of because I'll tell you sometimes Writing a pattern and you testing it yourself, sometimes you don't see those mistakes because you make this pattern so much time over and over in your mind. You could just sit down and just... But when you give it to someone else, you know, they find all the mistakes and all those things. And, you know, it's like viewing it, it's viewing it through a different... What must I say? <laughs> somebody that haven't made it before so thanks for that um i took the feedback and i made some changes so thank you so today i'll be showing you some i haven't done much i made a hat and i have some acquisition so let's get started with what i have in my lap right here so i'm working on my blanket this is my mom blanket I'm working on and this is the pattern so I'm using size 3 yarn and I talk about this blanket in my last video and I had five ball of that yarn and it wasn't enough to make a blanket so I got some yarn from Michaels a size 3 yarn so I joined it here so let me show you so you can see the green and uh, brownish color is the original yarn that I have and you can see the blue and the gray and the white is what I bought from Michaels it had a dark blue in the mid of this ball but I took it out so just to get to match up with what I already had. So, this is what I'm working on for my mom. And I show it to her and she likes it. And she like I like it too, all the color is coming out. So I'm working on this. And what else? Okay, here is the, some of the yarn that I took out from the skinny cake. I made another shawl. So this is the dark blue that I took out from the ball of yarn that I'm using for the blanket. So it's in here. And this is a one of the cake. This is the entire cake and the colors you can see. I made another. <laughs> I'm addicted to this shawl. Easy. It's just repeating. Once you get it, you get it. Once you get the leaf pattern, you can, it's just a breeze. You can go through it. So I hope... Um, the testers will be able to follow it and this pattern if and soon it will be able I will be able to publish it so if you like to make it for yourself so I made that and I also made after I finished writing up the pattern I tell you I didn't crochet for like five days just going back and forth with the pattern and writing it up and changing things 
so I was starving for some crochet so what I did last night I pull out this yarn it's patterns wool yarn it's a wool yarn and and this is what it is this is it and the colorway is sunset gold and it's a number four yarn and I bought this yarn from Tuesday morning I paid $3.99 it's a classic wool worsted and it's from patterns and it's 100% wool so this hat would shrink if you put it in the washing machine so this hat have a lot of give it look like this but I tell you my hair is very puffy and I could fit this hat on my head see it stretches a lot so you see it also fits my daughter so it stretches because it have a lot of give because of the the pattern itself so it would stretch and it would shrink back to itself so hopefully I will try and write this pattern up and then do a tutorial on it and probably put this pattern out so Hopefully, I'll be able to do that soon. So, what are you working on? Um, how was your week? I hope you're all doing well. I keep saying, hope you're all doing big. And I do mean it that, because a lot of people are going through some hard time. And I pray that, you know, you'll find some comfort. So, let me show you my acquisition. I got, I needed a ball yarn winder. And I had a small one that I bought from, I think I bought it from Michaels. And this thing was giving me such a hard time. I would wind my yarn up and the inside would come out and all sorts of nonsense. So I was looking on Amazon. I look at some reviews on yarn winders and I see a lot of people using the Stanwood I think it is so I look on Amazon and it's about $72 hmm bit pricey yes and by the time I, I have Prime and they're not shipping it for free so by the time I put it in my cart and all everything calculated to come to 80 something dollars I prefer to spend my money on my yarn <laughs> So what I did, I look on Amazon and I check and I saw this one and I have this four and a half stars. It looked like the same thing and it's L A M X D. That's what it is. That's, let me show you what it have. That's what it says. See? And it works good. I tried it and it works. I think what this is a bit slow. I don't know. I never had one like this before, but it works good. So let me spin it and show you. So you see, and I'm holding it in my hands. So I like it, and it's not very noisy. I'm sure you can hear that. It's not very noisy. And it works good. This one, I pay about 50 with tax, about 52 to $53. So, and it works for me. And... I also got this book this book this book is the second time I bought this book the first time I bought it I never received it and I wait they refund me my money and I wait for a while and then I bought it last week so I finally got it I didn't make anything out of it so hopefully next podcast I'll be able to show you something that I've made I don't know I think I'm I have this feeling every time I go to do something oh but you know you can create your own yes but sometimes it's so hard to write it up you just want something that somebody or else already made pattern so that's what I did for the past couple weeks my last video and then what I did last I think last week 
because I could sew a bit. I could make some skirts and back in the days I used to make my own clothes like skirts and little top, you know. But now, and in those days you used to wear your top clothes. You never had no bumps to hide, so <laughs> you didn't have to shape it to, <laughs> to hide your bumps. So I used to sew a lot at my clothes, so and, but now, no. So, I still make a few skirts and stuff, like if I find a nice fabric and I want to make skirt. And if I want to alter, I do a lot of alteration for like jeans and stuff like that. So, I do that. And I make my own project bag. For instance, I made this bag and it's a, a tote. And I buy this fabric at Abbey Lobby and this bag is but over a year and this je bottom is from my old my husband old jeans and the handle I made from his jeans and then I made a few this is like a canvas bottom and velvet and the handle is velvet is canvas too and the inside is lined with some gray fabric so I made a little tote bag because I'm always carrying my project around in bags I made that one and then I made this I bought the fabric from Tuesday morning and the bottom is made from one of my husband old jeans and it's a little box bottom it's not that much boxed but a little see so I made that and then I lined the inside with some white fabric. See? This these are some fat co fat <laughs> fat quarters I bought from Tuesday morning. You get like five in a in a bundle and then I take it and make bags. So that's another. Here is another one. And then I have ribbon and then I line the bag. I don't know. I prefer my bags not to be too busy inside so that's that but guys look what happened when i was putting in the ribbons today i realized watch i missed it so i have to go back and fix that i have a tear in my back so that's it and then i made another one so we see and that's all I made for this week. And guys, look, this I used to make hair bows, you can see, with ribbon. So I had a lot of ribbon and I used to, see I have my tag on it. I haven't made some, I have a few that I've made, but I haven't made any in a long time. These are flowers. Yeah, so that's what I did for the past couple of weeks what are you working on are you working on anything what are your plans i can't believe that it's almost the end of february i was telling my daughter this morning i said oh boy it's a tuesday already she said no mom it's wednesday <laughs> i said no it's tuesday she said no mom it's wednesday where did the time go I tell you, the days are so short. By the time you wake up in the morning, I feel it's just ready time to go back to bed. And I remember the word of God said, if I don't shorten the days, the very elect would not left. So when I see things like that, I remember the word of God. So I take heart and I look around at things and I... It's coming up March, it's gonna be one year since my kids are home from since the pandemic and one year since I haven't gone back to work. I had to take a leave of absence and I'm home. I have to look after my children, so. I hope, I hope, I miss my coworkers. I hope by the grace of God that, you know, at least by September I could go back out and the kids could go back to school. Things could get better. 
it's a hope and that's all we can do hope for better right so i thank god for another day each day i thank god for i open my eyes it's a gift it's a gift because a lot of people you know we lost a lot of people in this world you know people lost their family anyhow we're not here to talk about are we here to talk about yarn so i've reached guys 100 subscribers so thank you thank you for coming and spending some time with me and remember guys to be kind you you know a kind word could change a lot of things a kind word could make turn make a heart of stone turn soft so be kind to each other and and don't forget to like share and subscribe and you can find me on all the internet as classy handmade and instagram as classy handmade on facebook i have a facebook group come and join me guys show your projects we can talk about stuff on my classy handmade facebook group you can come over there and join me and you can find me on instagram as classy handmade and on facebook and on the web as classy and made at gmail.com so i hope you have a beautiful week and i hope that you're all doing well until next time thank you for joining me bye